Hey guys, today for your workout, we have a big team workout um, and we're gonna talk about variation of the dumbbell shoulder to overhead. So you guys are gonna row, you're gonna do some burpees and then you have 60 shoulder to overhead with the dumbbell, split that up however you'd like with your teammates. So if you split it evenly, evenly 20 each, 10 on each side, but you guys are open to split them up however you'd like. Um, so variations for dumbbell shoulder to overhead, um, standard for every single one of them, your dumbbell's gonna start with the head touching the shoulder at the start, um, and then it's gonna be extended and the arm's gonna be locked out at the top. So if I chose this variation, this would be my strict press. Um, this is gonna do a lot of work on the upper body with no use of my legs, um, other than making sure that they do not bend. The second variation is gonna be a push press. So with this one, you can dip, and then you get a little bit of momentum in the lower half to push that dumbbell over your head. The, sec the third variation is gonna be a dumbbell twister. Um, this one's gonna be that the one that gives you the most help from the lower half, but it's gonna require a little bit of um, coordination with this movement. So this one is a dip, drop, land in a power position, and then you stand, and then bringing that, that back down to the shoulder and cycling right back into it. So most efficient one would likely be that push jerk because you could cycle through it um, with more help from the lower half, reducing some fatigue that you would get from that um, upper body pressing movement. Um, however, if you aren't super coordinated with that movement yet, I'd say your best option here is gonna be that push press. So play around with whatever feels comfortable for you, but those are the choices that you have for the workout today.